What did the cannabis plant say to DeSantis? I'd make a loud joint campaign supporter, but I heard you're not a fan of grassroots movements. Now that we've lightened the mood, let's dive into a rather intriguing news piece. Recently, the Trump team threw a curveball, suggesting that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis should turn to marijuana edibles to ease his presidential campaign stress. Now, this is interesting, given DeSantis' opposition to cannabis legalization. Well, let's roll into the details of this high-profile story. DeSantis has been quite blunt about his views on cannabis. The Florida governor has made it clear he's not a fan, standing firmly against the legalization of cannabis. In fact, if he were to be elected president in 2024, he stated that decriminalizing or legalizing cannabis would not be on his to-do list. DeSantis's stance stretches beyond mere legalization, extending into the realm of medical marijuana. He signed bills that put a damper on medical marijuana advertising and even banned the sales of consumable hemp products to individuals under the age of 21. It's safe to say his nose isn't exactly keen on the scent of cannabis. He's gone on record stating that he believes marijuana smells putrid. However, in a twist of irony, the Trump team recently suggested that DeSantis could benefit from a bit of cannabis himself. They recommended that the governor consider using marijuana edibles to de-stress during his presidential campaign. Now isn't that a hoot? The staunch opponent of cannabis advised to turn to cannabis for relief. So it seems the Trump team wants to give DeSantis a taste of his own medicine, or should we say, edibles. The public reaction to this has been, well, lit. Social media platforms are buzzing with commentary, memes, and of course, a lot of laughter. It seems like the internet has collectively decided to grab a bag of popcorn and watch the spectacle unfold. And who can blame them? The idea of a presidential candidate using marijuana edibles to de-stress during a campaign is, to say the least, unconventional. But beyond the humor, this incident paints a larger picture of the ongoing debate around cannabis legalization. It's a clear sign of the times that a substance once vilified is now suggested as a stress reliever for a potential presidential candidate. Meanwhile, despite public support for cannabis legalization, politicians like DeSantis continue to resist change, reflecting a disconnect between public sentiment and political action. As for the impact on DeSantis's campaign, it's too early to tell. But one thing's for sure, he's been thrust into the spotlight for better or worse. While some voters may find the Trump team's suggestion off-putting, others might appreciate the humor and the candid discussion about stress in politics. After all, it's not every day that presidential campaign stress relief methods become a topic of national conversation. And let's not forget the potential implications for the cannabis industry. If nothing else, this incident has brought cannabis into mainstream conversations and highlighted the need for a more nuanced dialogue about its use and legalization. Who knew politics could be so baked. Well folks, that's the latest buzz from the world of cannabis politics. We've taken a look at DeSantis's stance on cannabis, the Trump team's humorous suggestion, and the public reaction. For more in-depth coverage of all things cannabis, you really should check out Kyle Yeager's work over at Marijuana Moment. It's a fantastic resource and a great place to stay updated. And if you're craving more conversation and community around all things cannabis, why not join our cannabis group on Facebook? It's a space where you can share thoughts, ask questions, and engage in lively discussions with like-minded individuals. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more info. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more cannabis-related content. Stay high on information, folks!